Good morning. Welcome to the Legal and Policy Issues Dev Room. My name is Tom Marble, and I'm here with one of my co-organizers, Richard Fontana. We also have two other co-organizers, uh, Karen Sandler and Bradley Kuhn, who are off doing the FOSDEM keynote at the moment, but we'll be back uh, later today in this room. Um, some of you may know that this is the eighth year that we've done the Legal and Policy Issues Dev Room. And it's been really an interesting ride because we started out with the idea of describing or talking about the issues that enable free software and open source to exist and starting off with things like copyright law and patent law and trademark law and broaden that into governance issues, issues like copyright, license agreements, and all sorts of other things. And it turns out that every year, there's always more new information around the ecosystem of free software that we need to talk about. It was actually several years ago that we heard uh, in this dev room about the GDPR. I think, Mark, you gave a talk about that, didn't you? Yeah, so that's where I first heard about the GDPR. And uh, I have to give uh, all of the Europeans uh, big props for the GDPR because you probably know this already, but globally companies are enacting privacy to comply with the GDPR, even if they're not European. And that's just an, a testament to the influence that, that you've had, which is great. I also want to say that uh, this dev room is intended to be a place of discussion. And we, while we have a lot of lawyers that are presenting, we absolutely encourage people that are not lawyers, that are developers or involved in the community, to come and share their experiences with us. And uh, hopefully our speakers will give you all a chance to ask them some really provocative questions and we can have some good discussion. Uh, uh, we have a great lineup today and in, in fact we have several panels that will allow opportunity for discussion including uh, at the end of the day we have our organizers panel where we hope to have some lively discussion. So uh, it's a very busy day. I want to thank you very much for, for coming and at this point I'm going to Give the mic to my co-organizer, Richard Fontana, if you'd like to say a word or two. Sure. Thanks, Tom. Uh, well, it's great to be here. I have no prepared remarks, but Tom uh, wanted me to, to say a few words. Um, so I think this, has been, this event has, been, uh, has had a big impact on my, my life. I think it's been uh, fantastic each year that we do this. Um, we get such a great lineup of speakers. We have not only sort of followed uh, the evolution of legal and policy issues in the larger free software and open source world, as Tom was saying, but I feel like we've actually had an impact on sort of driving where uh, conversations are going, and I think that's really great. And, and um, what's also sort of unique about this event is that it is part of FOSDEM. It's a, it's a developer hacker-driven event. It's not a lawyer-controlled event. It's not a secretive event. It's a, it's a public, open, chaotically organized thing, and that's just very special, and it's becoming more and more uncommon, and I think it's uh, really great, and it, it should be a great event today. So, Richard, maybe you could say, how many of the lawyer-related events do you go to where you basically have to be a lawyer or have to be invited to speak? Well, there, there's, I don't think there's any that, that really have being a lawyer as a as criterion, but, but many of them do are, are invitation only. Well, not many, but there's, there's some important ones that are invitation only. Um, I, there are historical reasons for that, but that's kind of unfortunate, and I think it's really great that this event shows that you can have uh, an entirely open alternative. 